Hey everybody, happy Friday. Normally I would read a picture book as our read aloud, but I've decided to start on Fridays reading a chapter from a book. Um, the first story we're going to start with is called Your Mother Was a Neanderthal. This is part of the Time Warp Trio series. So if you really enjoy this book, I hope that you'll look into the other books they have. So this is Your Mother Was a Neanderthal by John Skiza, illustrated by Lane Smith. Chapter one. It was like nothing on earth we had ever seen. Before, Fred, Sam, and I stood in front of a forest of trees and giant ferns. A rocky cliff rose behind us. A volcano smoked ahead of us. But we didn't really notice any of that at first. The first thing we noticed was that the three of us were standing around completely, unbelievably, and absolutely naked. We lost everything, yelled Fred. He dove behind the nearest giant fern. I don't understand it, said Sam. This never happens in those other time travel books. So why did this have to happen to us? asked Fred. This is totally embarrassing. We didn't lose everything, I said. Sam still has his glasses. You've got your hat and I've got my straw. That's all you have? A straw? asked Fred. Don't tell me you lost the book. Okay, I won't tell you, I said. You don't have the book? Oh, man, said Fred. This time we really are cooked. I knew it wouldn't work. There is no way we are going to find the book here in the Stone Age. We'll be lucky if we find anybody who can even talk. Sam looked around. So, okay, things don't look so good. Don't look so good, said Fred. We have to wait a million years for people to invent talking, writing, and then bookmaking. And all you can say is things don't look so good? According to my calculations, said Sam, We've probably landed in the year 40,000 BC. We are completely naked. We have no tools, weapons, or supplies. But we still have one thing. Goosebumps, said Fred. No, you jerk. Knowledge, brain power, all the learning of modern man, said Sam. He pointed dramatically toward the smoking volcano. Still... Out there in the prehistoric world, we can still be kings, or at least very popular guys. Fred and I looked out over the grassy plain. Right now, I'd settle for some underwear and a slice of pizza, said Fred. Sam pretended he didn't hear that last crack. With our superior brain power, we can recreate modern civilization. Observe. He pulled a giant leaf from a bush. Pants. He held up a piece of vine, belt. He tied the leaf on, clothes. Fred and I did the same. We looked pretty ridiculous, but it was a start on civilization. Fred hopped around in his new leaf shorts. Ugh, ugh. Now we learn reading and writing. Skip arithmetic. A strangled screech echoed in the forest. I checked the landscape nervously. What about running and hiding? It sure would spoil my day to get eaten by a dinosaur. No, 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 said Sam. Brain power. Dinosaurs and cavemen never lived at the same time. Sam adjusted his leaf. If this is 40,000 BC, dinosaurs have been extinct for 65 million years. Cro-Magnum man, our direct ancestor should just be replacing Neanderthal man. Sam paused, and at the very second we heard a terrified human scream. Ah! Man! said Sam. But when we heard, then we heard another sound. It was a roar, a very large roar. 
the kind that comes from a very large, angry, and hungry animal. I think it's time for a disappearing act, I said. You can do that without the book, asked Sam. Sure, I said, diving behind Manira's fern. Fred and Sam followed just as a bunch of wild-looking men crashed out of the bushes. They wore raggy skins had long scraggly hair and beards and were running as fast as they could. Cavemen, whispered Fred. The tops of the bushes shook and the animal that was charging them stuck its head out. Dinosaur, whispered Fred. Impossible, said Sam. Dinosaurs are extinct. The big scaly head turned its beady eyes toward us and roared. We backed against the rock wall. Why don't you go explain that to him, I said. Then maybe he'll go away. The dinosaur looked at us and roared again. We went to the Stone Age to become kings, and we were about to become lunch. That was chapter one of my mother. Uh, your mother was a Neanderthal. Tune in next Friday for chapter two.